In this video, we're going to learn how to reverse the contents of a file using C. So here we've got a file called file.txt with these contents in it. I want to be able to create a file called reverse.txt that stores these contents reversed. So let's go over an example of how to do that. The first thing we'll do is create a couple file pointer variables to help us access the original file and the reverse file. So we'll say file star file and file star reverse. We'll let the user enter the original file name and the file name for the reversed file. So we'll create some character arrays to store those file names. We'll say car file name 1024 and car reverse name 1024. And then we'll prompt the user for the original file name and for the file name for the reverse file. So here we'll say printf file to reverse And then we'll use a scanf to store what the user enters into the file name character array. And then we'll do the same thing with the new file that's going to store the reversed version of the original file's contents. So we'll say scanf, percent %f, and then reverse name here. And then we'll open these two files. We're going to open up the original file for reading and the file that's going to store the reversed contents for writing. So we'll say file is equal to f open file name r. So f open is going to open the file with file name in read mode. So we're going to be able to read from this file. And it's going to return a file pointer that we're going to store into file. And then we'll do the same thing with the reverse file. So we'll say reverse is equal to f open reverse name. This time though, we're going to use w for write mode, because we're going to be writing to the reverse file. We'll just fix this typo here. And now the one thing we're going to do is check for whether file or reverse are equal to null, because fopen is going to return null if it fails to open the file, which could happen if the file doesn't exist or there's some kind of permissions issue. So we'll say here, if file is equal to null or reverse is equal to null, then we're going to handle that error. And we'll tell the user that there was an error opening the files. So error opening files backslash n, and we'll return one. We're going to return one here to terminate the program because returning one is a signal to the shell here, to the terminal, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. And that's in contrast to returning zero. So at this point, we've got both files open and we know they've both been opened okay. So then to actually reverse the contents of the file, what we're gonna do is first figure out how many characters are in the file. And we're gonna use fseek to help us do that. So here we'll say fseek file zero seek end. And what fseek is gonna do is take the file pointer to the end of the file with an offset here of zero. In other words, not one or two or more characters back from the end of the file. We want to go exactly to the end of the file. And it's going to do it with this file pointer here. Then we can get the length of the file by using ftel. So here we'll say int length is equal to ftel file. So ftel is going to return the current value of the position indicator, which is going to let us know how long the file is. Then what we're going to do is start reading backwards in the file, one character at a time, from this end position. And what we'll do is write each character to the reverse file, which will give the effect of reversing the contents of this file. So the first thing we'll do is actually use fseek to move backwards one character in the file. So we'll say fseek file negative one and seek cur. So we're saying using this file pointer here at the current position it's at, move back one character. Then we can start outputting the characters from this file to the reverse file, moving back one character at a time. So we'll say while length 
is greater than zero, continue to do this work. And we're going to decrement length by one each time through this loop. So we're using length to let us know once we've reached the beginning of the file. And what we'll do is read the next character from the file and then write it to the reverse file. So we'll say car C is equal to F get C file to read in the next character from the original file. Then we'll say F put C, C and reverse to write that character to the reverse file. And just for fun, we might as well print it out here as well. So we'll say printf percent C and we'll put that character here as well. Now, one thing we have to do that's very important is continually move back the file pointer. And we're going to move it back by two characters. So we'll say here, fseek file negative two seek cur. So up here, we moved the file pointer back one character from its current position. And its current position was the end of the file because of this call to fseek. So we moved it back one character. In other words, the file pointer is going to be at the very last character of the file. And then here, we read in that character. And then here, we wrote it to the reverse file. Then down here, we moved the file pointer back two characters. And that's because when we use f get c, it's going to move it forward one to read in that last character. So we need to move it back two to be able to read in the second last character. And that's going to happen continuously throughout the execution of this loop is the next time we go to read in that second last character, the file pointer is again going to be advanced by one character. So that's what we're going to do is continuously read in one character and then move back two characters. So here, after running this, the file pointer would move from the end of the file back one character. We would read in this character here. And then here, we would again move back two characters. So we read in F and then we move back two characters. And then we read in E and we move back two characters. We read in D and move back two characters and on and on. And we're going to continue to do this until we've read in the number of characters that we calculated the file to have using FTEL. So the last thing we'll do is close the files. We'll say F close file, F close reverse. And we'll also just print out a new line character here as well. So we'll save this and we'll try to compile it now. And it compiles okay, so let's test it out. We'll enter in file.txt and then reverse.txt. And we can see the printout here using printf seems to be the reversed version of this file here. So it seems to have worked. If we check out reverse.txt, we'll see the same thing. We successfully reversed the file. So this is how we can reverse a file using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.